13 women enrolled at the College of Charleston on September 30th, 1918. The process to get there required multiple appeals, dating back to 1894. Success finally came with Carrie Pulitzer, who upon being told that funding for a women's lounge was required, quickly organized a mass meeting and raised more than enough to have President Harrison Randolph sign an agreement opening its doors to women on exact parity with men. Getting in was only half the battle. Of the original 13, only one female graduated, but she did so head of her class. It's important to point out that only six of the 20 men who enrolled in 1918 graduated. From only one female graduate in 1922, the college now has more than 1,300 women who graduate each year and go on to achieve great things. Thank you.